Hi there. My name is Sarah Nelson, um, and I'm based here in Midland, Michigan. And I am so super excited to share the practice of forest yoga with you uh, in this special edition uh, of Yoga Fest called Yoga Frost. Um, so just to give you a quick, short description of what is forest yoga, why is it called that? First, it has absolutely nothing to do with the trees. I love to be outside <laughs> while I practice, but this has nothing to do with being outside. Forest yoga is named after its creator on a forest. So it's forest with two R's if you wanted to you know, look up a more detailed uh, explanation a little bit later on your own. But how the practice is uh, at its basic level unique is that it's a very slower paced practice that's very internally focused. So that there's some sequencing differences, there's some uh, terminology differences, so I may call things different names than you might be used to. But that's basically the rundown. Slower paced, very challenging, but of course you're always welcome to choose your level of challenge for yourself. Always honor your body. So without going in it, into any other detail, let's get into the practice together. So just come into whatever comfortable seat works well for you. You may choose to sit up on something, support yourself with props. You may choose to sit uh, against the wall. Ah, and for today's practice, you may want to have a block, candy. Uh, if you don't have a block, a stack of books, just something that can bring the ground up to you. And we'll also use this as a tool, not only to bring ground up, but to squeeze onto for a few things. So, I wanted to introduce you to a special forest yoga tool called a roll. This is just a cut up and uh, rolled up yoga mat. But I'm not going to expect you to have this. This is very unique to forest yoga. But if you do want to experience something like a roll, you can grab a bath towel, roll it up real quick. So it's about, you know, yay big. But regular roll yoga block will do. A pillow will also do nicely. Or you can skip using a yoga prop altogether. And I'll give options for that. Okay, once you find your comfortable seat, close your eyes if that's the right choice for you. Of course, if you would rather keep your eyes open, you're welcome to. But maybe choose to look away from the screen, give your eyes a rest. Place your hands somewhere at the front of your chest or belly that allows you to feel your breath. So it could be hands at the chest, hands at the belly, one of each. My personal favorite is right where those two regions meet at the bottom most ribs. And just start tuning into the rhythm of your breathing. Feel how the ribs and belly expand with each inhale. And then go after a breath that expands all the way around. So not only at the front, but at your sides. And also at back ribs and low back. And if it's helpful for you to move your hands to those areas to feel that movement, you're welcome to. And while you're turning on your deep breath, I'd like to offer the intention for the practice today, which is to brighten up your spirit. And you can choose to, uh, you know, pick a different word if connecting to spirit feels like an up level today. You could choose to brighten your body with your breath. You could choose to brighten your heart, brighten the space around you. Begin breathing in a way that feels bright. So I like to think of this connection process to like brightening the breath as like a dimmer switch. With each breath you take, if you turn up that dimmer a little bit, 
visualizing a lightness, a brightness growing from within. closed, go ahead and open those back up. Bring your legs into either a cross-legged shape uh, or if you want a little bit uh, deeper into the hips or just to choose a different shape, shoelace. This may also be known as double pigeon but in forest yoga this is shoelace. Shins parallel to each other-ish, could be a little closer, could be a little further. There's no rules here uh, for what's right or wrong, only the experience of your own body. So if you would like to use props in whatever way would help you to feel supported, go for that. Let's shift now into a pranayama exercise called Kapalabhati, also known as bellows breath or breath of fire. And you kundalini yogis, I know you're very familiar with versions of this. Uh, how Kapalabhati works is a short, sharp, forced exhale by snapping the abdomen back. So the exhale is the action. The inhale happens passively. So don't expect this to be like a full deep breath, but as we go through this, this like sniffing sort of exhales, you'll build a little bit of internal heat. And that's the idea behind uh, including this exercise today. So let's begin this together. If you're comfortable placing hands on the belly to feel this, you're welcome to or place the hands wherever feels natural for you. Take a huge breath in, exhale part way, and then snap the belly back. Relax the belly, let the inhale happen naturally. Snap the belly back. Then you can continue like this with a slower pace, or you can start to quicken it like so. Continue until you reach about a count of 30. So I'm going to leave you to it on your own for a little bit. If at any point you start to feel anxious while you're doing this breath, slow it down. Even if you don't get all the way to 30, it's fine. Once you've reached about that 30 count, coming into a forward bend, that could be a shift forward a few inches with the chest, place your hands in front of you, or walk your hands as far forward, holding down as deeply as you'd like. Take three very deep and bright breaths toward your hips. Feel for shining a light of awareness into your hips. Sitting back upright, let's repeat that and change the cross of your legs. If you had the legs crossed, opposite leg comes in front. If you had your legs in some variation of shoelace, then place the other leg on top. 30 rounds of Kapalabhati bellows then three deep breaths and forward bend. And I'll give you a moment of just quiet to experience what this pranayama does for your energy level, does on the internal felt sense. Finish up in the next moment or so. Come forward for three deep breaths.
And as you're forward bending, inhale into your low back. As you exhale, send your sit bones back. Walk your hands back. Bring your legs now into Baddha Konasana or butterfly. Soles of the feet together, knees wide. We're unlocking the hips. Now, if you're sitting on a very uh, tall surface, it may be more stable if you put your hips on the floor, but you're welcome to experiment with what works for you. Hold on to your left thigh and lean over to the right so that you can lift your left hip and massage the meat of the muscle of your thigh away from your hip. And setting that hip down, left hand stays on the thigh, right hand comes next to you. As you inhale, straighten your left arm and lift your ribs away from your hips. Exhale, lean a little more to the right if you want. And feel for creating a press not only down toward the floor, but forwards. So you're feeling for unlocking the space of your hips. Inhale very brightly into your left hip. And as you exhale, traction and just notice how luxurious that can feel. Stage two, begin folding your chest more to the right. You may need to reposition your hand or adjust the angle, you know, whatever you need to do to be supported here. Inhale, move your ribs to the right. Exhale, forward bend over the right leg. And notice what happens at your low back here. What happens at your hip. Can you breathe some bright and shiny breaths into that left hip? Inhale and ease up. Other side. Hold on to your right thigh with both hands. Lean to the left. Massage your leg away from the hip socket just a bit. And place right hand down, left hand next to you. Inhale, straighten the right arm, leaning to the left. Exhale, traction your thigh bone down and a little bit forward in the direction of your knee. As you inhale, press firmly with both feet. Maintain some stability in the legs. Exhale and soften with your jaw. Allow your neck to relax to the left. And breathe in a way that absorbs any feeling of luxury you're getting in the right hip. Stage two, fold your chest more to the left. Readjust in any way that feels supportive for you. Inhale, telescope ribs away from your hips. Exhale, anchor hips down away from ribs. And in the space between those two actions, can you sparkle up with your breath? Building a brightness in your body as a way of brightening up your spirit. Sit all the way back up. You're welcome to use your hands, help your legs come back together. Lie down on your back. In forest yoga, we always include core work, abdominal exercises, very early in the practice. So we're going to do that right now. Once you lie down, take any prop that you have available to squeeze in between your thighs. Now I'm going to just begin with a very uh, gentle, very mild version of this uh, abdominal work, which is appropriate for anyone that has working with a low back injury, maybe a neck injury, or if you are pregnant, this is an appropriate uh, way of working here. Now take a really huge breath in. 
As you exhale, squeeze onto your prop and spread your low back on the floor. Inhale, relax the squeeze, relax the pelvis. Exhale, squeeze the prop, press your low back down. Feel for hugging the belly in and down. If you're pregnant, that's a very gentle hug. If you're not pregnant, you can scoop the belly all the way down. Inhale and relax all of that action. Exhale, squeeze your prop, spread your low back down, scoop belly in and down. Now, for whatever reason, this is the best choice for you right now to work the abdominals very gently. Continue just like that on your own. Otherwise, pick up your feet. Choose to have your knees bent or legs straight. Either one will work, whichever works best for your body. You're welcome to keep your head down if you feel like you want less uh, work right now or if you need to support a neck uh, tweakiness. Otherwise, you can clasp hands behind your head, elbows point up. Now relax your head into your hands as best you can throughout the whole exercise. Take a really huge breath in. Hold your breath, squeeze your prop, and spread your low back down. Exhale, lift your head and shoulders straight up. Squeeze the prop and pull your belly down. Inhale, lay your head down on the floor. Hold your breath, squeeze the prop, spread your low back down toward the ground. Exhale, lift your head and shoulders straight up. Elbows reach toward the sky, pull belly in. Inhale, head comes down, relax your neck. Hold your breath, squeeze the prop, spread your low back down. Exhale, lift your head and shoulders up, squeeze the prop. Now squeeze your sit bones toward your tailbone and pull your belly in. Inhale, lower the head. If you have the knees bent and you want to try legs straight now, go for it. Hold the breath, squeeze the prop, spread your low back down. Exhale, lift head and shoulders straight up, squeeze the prop, squeeze your sit bones toward your tailbone and pull your belly down. Inhale, head comes down. Hold the breath, spread your low back down, squeeze onto your prop. Exhale, lift head and shoulders, straight up. Unlock elbows and armpits to the ceiling as you squeeze the prop, squeeze your sit bones and pull your belly in. Inhale, lay your head down. Last one, stay with it. Hold the breath, squeeze onto the prop, squeeze your sit bones. Exhale, lift head and shoulders, straight up. Squeeze the prop, squeeze your sit bones. Scoop your belly down. Inhale, lay the head and shoulders down. Exhale, put your feet on the floor. Keep the block or whatever prop you're using where it is for a moment, but feel for, have you brightened up a little bit of fire in your core? Have you brightened up elsewhere? Bridge. Have feet wherever it is supportive for your body. If the prop is too narrow for you to work with there, you can try to block the uh, wider way or just ditch the prop if you'd like to. Take a really deep breath in. Exhale, press into your feet and lift up into bridge. Inhale, anchor your feet down on the heels and both sides of the balls of your feet. Exhale, send tailbone and sit bones forward. Feel for building heat in the glutes. Enliven all the way down from hips, through your legs, into your feet. Inhale, spread your ribs side to side. Exhale, soften neck and shoulders. And in forest yoga, arms are usually relaxed down by the sides, so no need to clasp hands underneath you. Give yourself all the time you need to lower down. Lengthen your spine as you come down toward the floor. Let's do another round of abs. This one's called gate opener. So it's gonna combine the previous movement with a second movement. You're welcome to watch the first round and then join in on the second one. Or if your listening skills are feeling very sharp today, come into this with me. If you are pregnant, you can repeat the previous exercise, just working with the pelvic tilts and the squeeze of the block. 
or choose whatever other shape you would prefer in this moment. Okay, pick up your feet, bend your knees, or lengthen your legs up. And for back support, you can do this shape with your feet supported on a wall if you'd like to. All right, clasp hands behind your head if you will be lifting your head. Otherwise, arms can relax wherever feels comfortable. Take a really deep breath, spread your ribs. Hold the breath, squeeze the block. Exhale, lift your head and shoulders straight up. Squeeze block, squeeze sit bones and pull your belly down. Now here's the second part. Place your left hand on the prop and pin it to your pelvis. Inhale, send your thighs apart. If the legs are straight, you're working with straddle. If your legs are bent, you're working with frog. As you exhale, press the roll down onto your pubic bone, curl your pubic bone up onto it and pull your belly in. Inhale, bring your legs back up, place your hand behind your head, put your head on the floor. That was one round. Hold the breath, squeeze the block. Exhale, lift out of shoulders straight up, squeeze block, squeeze sit bones, pull belly in. Right hand pins the prop to your pelvis. Inhale, straddle or frog. Exhale, press the prop down, curl your pubic bone up onto it, spread the inner thighs out to the sides and pull belly in. Inhale, legs come up, place your head down. Hold the breath, squeeze your prop. Spread your low back down. Exhale, lift head and shoulders. Squeeze prop, squeeze sit bones, scoop belly in. Left hand holds the prop on your pelvis. Inhale, send your thighs wide. Exhale, press the prop down, curl the pubic bone up toward your navel, pull your belly in. Inhale, legs up, head down. Hold the breath, squeeze your prop, spread your low back down. Exhale, lift head and shoulders straight up, pull belly in. Right hand holds the prop, inhale, send the thighs wide. Exhale, press the roll, or excuse me, the prop down, curl your pubic bone up onto it and pull belly in. Inhale, legs come up. Exhale, set everything down on the floor. Feet come down. Head comes down, set the prop to the side. Now place hands on your belly and feel for spreading the warmth, the fire, the awareness that you just built there throughout your entire core. Roll over to one side. Sit up with a very soft neck. And then you can use your hand to help your head come up. And then stand all the way up. Let's do some sun salutations. And in forest yoga, we work with classic suns with lunges. So that's what we'll be doing right now. Stand at the front of your mat, class, or excuse me, uh, place hands together in front of your heart. Inhale, send your arms up. Exhale, forward bend, hinge at your hips, and how your arms travel is entirely up to you. Lunge, inhale, step your left foot back. Exhale, and put your knee down. Now, if your knee is unhappy to be on the floor, you can flip your mat, or if you've got a blanket, you can pad your knee a little bit extra. Inhale, hands can come onto the front thigh, or reach up. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step back and into plank. Setting the knees down. If you're pregnant, you can work with cat, cow, or camel. Otherwise, exhale, lower all the way down to the floor. Low cobra, reach down and back with your feet. Slide your hands forward. Inhale, pull your ribs forward as you lift up. Elbows come up off the floor as you lift. Exhale, pull the ribs forward as you lie down. Downward facing dog. Pressing yourself up, your hands and knees, or plank as you lift back. Lunge. As you inhale, step your left leg forward. And if it doesn't quite make it there on its own, just use your hands, help it go where you want it to go. Placing the back knee down, exhale. Inhale, lift up, hands on your thigh or reaching up. Exhale, place the hands down. If your body needs a little more space, hands to the inside of your leg. Step your back foot forward, forward bend. Inhale, stand up, arms reach up. Exhale, bring hands together at your heart, send your tailbone straight down. Inhale, enliven your toes as you reach your arms up. 
Exhale into forward bend, softening through your knees and your neck. A little bit faster now. Inhale, right leg steps back. All in one deep breath, put your knee down and lift up. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step back into plank and either work here or with cat-cow or exhale, lower down. Low cobra. Inhale, slide your hands forward. Lift your chest up. Exhale, pull the ribs forward. Lie down, downward facing dog. Wrapping your shoulders strong here and down dog. Lunge, inhale, right leg steps forward. Back knee comes to the floor as you lift up. Push tenaciously with your legs. Exhale, hands down, step forward, forward bend. Inhaling, stand up, reach up. Exhale, bring hands together at your heart. Continuing to stoke that fire, build some brightness. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward bend, soften through your neck. Lunge, inhale, step your left foot back. If you want to build even more heat in your hips, keep your knee up, lifting up, one breath. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step back into plank, lower down if you're working here. Cobra or low cobra, inhale, lift your chest forward and up, dragging those hands back. Exhale, lower down. Downward facing dog. Lunge, inhale, step the left leg forward. Choosing back knee up or down is up to you. Lift on up. Exhaling, hands down, step forward. Inhale, stand up, reach up, telescope your ribs up. Exhale, hands at your heart. One more round, inhale, arms lift up, spread fingers and toes. Forward bend, exhale, lower. Lunge, inhale, right leg back, lifting up. Choose the shape that works for you. Exhale, hands come down. Step back into plank, lower down. Cobra or low cobra, inhale, lift up. Reach down and back with the legs. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lunge, inhale, right leg steps forward, lifting on up. Exhale, hands down, step to forward bend. As you inhale, stand up, reach all the way up. Exhale, bring hands together to your heart, soften or close your eyes. Notice the quality of your breath right now, the energy level in your body. Notice if there is a brightening effect in your spirit. Standing pose series. I'm going to slow things down at this point, but not in a way that's easier. <laughs> Step your feet apart for warrior two. Turn your left uh, foot out so that you can bend your left knee away from the midline. Keep your arms relaxed down by your sides, because we're going to do a few rounds of shoulder shrugs. This will be more clear if you can see my back, so I'm going to turn around for a moment. Left knee is bent, arms down by the sides. Take a huge breath into your upper back. Hold your breath, slide your shoulders up. Squeeze top tips of your shoulder blades together. Exhale, keep squeezing and drag your shoulder blades down your back. Inhale, relax your arms, lift your whole spine up. Exhale, squeeze the middle edges straight back, no lift this time, drag down. Inhale, relax the arms, relax upper back. Exhale, squeeze the bottom tips of your shoulder blades together, squeeze the elbows back for a little extra, and drag down. Second round, inhale, relax your arms. Hold the breath, slide shoulder blades up, squeeze the top tips back. Exhale, keep squeezing that and drag it down. Notice how that feels at your back. Inhale into the upper back. Exhale, squeeze middle edges straight back. Squeeze, 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 and keep dragging down. Inhale, relax. Exhale, bottom tips, squeeze back, elbows, squeeze back, and drag them on down. 
Eagle Warrior Two. Inhale, bend your elbows, bring your arms up. Exhale, bring the right elbow underneath for eagle arms. So you can work with a single cross grabbing opposite shoulders or upper arms if that's best for you. You can place back of hands toward each other or palm to palm. No matter which shape you've chosen for your shoulders, inhale, scoop your elbows forward and lift them up. If the forearms are intertwined, exhale, lean those forearms forward. And feel for slowing your breath in the way that keeps that heat building at a simmer. So you sort of have this, you know, the energy level kind of fluctuates, right? Sometimes we bring it up to a boil and we slow it back down again to a simmer. But keep breathing in a way that invites brightness to yourself, your mind, your body, your spirit, whatever part of you needs it. Emu, keep your uh, eagle arms, keep your warrior two legs, and begin folding forward in whatever direction your hips are pointing. And keep pushing down with your legs as you fold, keep bending the left knee, if you need more support here, unwind your arms and just place your hands on the floor. But if you can keep the eagle, let your arms dangle. Take a huge breath, press down with your feet. Exhale and relax your neck. Now notice any feelings of hmm, sparkly energy running through your hips your legs. Stoke up your breath to match that heat, to match that energy. Stay low, untwine your arms or head to ankle prep. Place your hands on the floor. Keep your left knee bent. Legs stay in that warrior two shape. Right hand can be down over near the right foot or directly underneath you. Place your left hand to the middle of your left thigh. As you inhale, straighten the left arm, move your ribs to the right. And exhale and traction the left thigh, similar to how you did at the very beginning with unlocking the hips. Inhale very vibrantly into your left hip. Exhale, soften in the neck and the jaw and any other areas that are clinching and resistance here. Let go, straighten both legs, turn your toes to point in the same direction as each other. Into a straddle forward bend. Going into flank stretch. Walk your hands over toward your left foot now. Grab onto your left lower leg with your right hand, anywhere between ankle and knee, but maybe not directly on the knee itself. Other hand can be a block on the floor, could be to the front of the foot, to the outside, or stacked on top. Find a place that feels supportive. Inhale, send your right ribs to the right. So think of your hand as like an anchor. You're moving your ribs away from that anchor. When you next exhale, relax in your neck. And this pose can absolutely be done with bent knees, especially if you need support for the hamstrings. As you inhale, press actively with both feet, spread your toes. Exhale and create that action of bending the right elbow downward. And if that lit up something in your ribs or your armpit, breathe into that. Release, turn yourself to face the left side of your mat and reset your legs 
in whatever way uh, is necessary to point your hips toward the left side. Twisting triangle. Right hand stays down. You can choose to bring the ground up to you if you want a little bit more height. Ah, I said left, I meant right. Right hand stays down. Inhale, twist to the left. Your hand can come to your hip or reach up. As you exhale, press down with both feet. Now, if you feel like working a more fiery version of the shape, place your block or your hand to the outside of your foot. It's not for me today, but you might choose it. Inhale, move ribs away from hips. Exhale, keep that length and soften your neck. Put your hands on the floor. Lounge lunge. Place your back knee down way far back, as far back as you can go. You can work with an easy twisting lunge version, uh, right hand down, left hand up, or to go a little bit further toward lounge lunge, slide your right hand further forward, more toward the top corner of the mat, and grab onto your left shin. As you inhale, twist to the left, and then exhale, let your right hip, right ribs, and all the right side of your body drape downward. Inhale, anchor the inner edge of your left foot down. Exhale and anchor your back foot down, reaching back with the right leg. And notice where are the bright and shiny areas? Where do you breathe into that can feel very sparkly in this moment? To come out, push really firmly into the right hand, shift the hips back for nomad's pose. Straighten through your front leg, back knee stays down. Front leg might go all the way straight, it might not, doesn't matter. What does matter is how you feel. So if you feel like you would like a little more support here, block or blocks at any height might support you well, or hands and hips, hands on thigh. If you feel up for placing hands on the floor, go for it. As you inhale, anchor down with both legs, push into the floor with your feet. And exhale, press a little more into the ball of your left foot. Maintain that contact, even if it doesn't push all the way to the floor, press it toward the floor. And then span and lift your toes up. Final piece of the puzzle, relax your neck. And notice what lines of energy are running through your body right now. Can you breathe in a way that like travels a, a laser beam on that line of energy? Come out of nomads, step your back foot forward and stand up. Just notice how your left leg feels in comparison to the right one as we set up for the other side. Step your feet apart, turn your right leg out so you can bend your knee away from the midline, bending into the right. This time let's do kite hawk. So bring your arms out to the sides, like a traditional warrior too, but we're gonna add some zhuzh to this. As you inhale, roll your shoulder blades down your back, turn your palms to face up. Exhale, lift the shoulder blades up your back and round your arms forward, palms back. Inhale, open through the chest, shoulder blades squeeze back. Exhale, round and close through the chest as you slide shoulder blades apart. And keep this moving, inhale, external rotation, exhale, internal rotation. You can think of this like cat cow just for your rotator cuff muscles, <laughs> for your shoulders. Mm -hmm. 
do one more and find neutral eagle inhale bend your elbows exhale bring the left elbow underneath get as many crosses here as feels good for this side Forward. And you might experiment. Like, what happens if you squeeze your elbows and forearms to each other? What happens if you sort of lean the arms a little to one side or to the other? Make one small adjustment that would bring more brightness, like the energy of sparkle. You're welcome to stay upright if that would be a better choice for you. Otherwise, pull belly in. Begin folding forward into emu. Anchor down with your legs the whole time you're folding, and especially when you get to your end point. Don't hang out in the joint. Strengthen around it. So push down with your feet. Inhale, spread your toes. Spread the soles of your feet. Exhale, soften the neck. Let the arms dangle. Of course, an option here would be to put your hands on the floor if you'd like more support. Breathe in a way that moves the lava energy that's running through your hips into another area of your body. So use your breath to move energy to brighten up all the corners of yourself. Stay low, unwind your arms, head to ankle prep. Keep your left hand on the floor. Your hand could be on a block, could be over to the left side. Right hand comes to the right thigh. Keep the warrior two shape in your legs. And if that shape is shaky, good. Inhale, straighten the right arm, move your ribs to the left. And as you exhale, traction the right hip, right thigh bone forward and away from the hip joint. Feeling for creating like a teeny tiny little pocket of space. And then breathing an effervescent energy into your right hip into that space you're creating. Knees out. Straighten both legs and I might feel like, ooh, a rush of relief. <laughs> Flank stretch. Walk your hands more toward your right leg now. Grab onto your lower leg with your left hand. Right hand, wherever would feel supported for you. Inhale, send your left ribs to the left. Exhale and relax your neck. Let your head be in a relationship with gravity. You can add a little extra awareness to the armpit and ribs by sending the left elbow downward. Even if it doesn't move visibly, just creating that action can light up something really interesting. So just notice what you feel. Let go of your leg. Turn yourself all the way to the right, setting up a pyramid shape with both legs straight-ish, hips more pointing toward the right side now. You're welcome to keep your hands uh, down or place a block under your left hand for twisting triangle. Inhale, twist to the right, hand on your hip or arm reaching up. Option to uh, place the hand that's down to the outside of your foot if you would prefer. Inhale, move ribs away from hips. 
Exhale, send ribs back, away from ribs. Hips back, away from ribs. And feel for using your breath to light up any corners that feel shadowy. Any little crevices of mind, body, spirit, any layer, any level that you're working with right now. Use your breath to brighten up what feels shadowy. Come out of your twist. Lounge lunge. Place your left hand a little further forward. Wide in the stance front to back if you'd like to. Grab onto your right shin. And I'll actually show this from the other side, but maybe a little more clear. Grabbing onto the right shin. As you inhale, turn your ribs to the right. And exhale, let your left ribs, left hip, drape downward toward the floor. And you may be staying a little more upright. That's perfectly fine. Inhale and press all of your limbs that are touching the floor down into the floor. When you exhale, relax your neck, whatever direction would be supportive. So ear towards shoulder, forehead toward knee. Maybe your head just relaxes. And you bring that effervescent sparkle energy of breath in. Ease out by pushing into your left hand. Shift your hips back toward nomad's pose. Wiggle and scooch the front leg a little further forward if you need more space. Always an option to lift the ground up to you or place your hands on your leg. Inhale, scoop your ribs forward. Get a little longer in the spine. Exhale, anchor down with your legs. Press down with both feet. You're welcome to fold the chest as far forward and down as you'd like to. Inhale, activate your feet. Spread the toes, spread the soles of your feet. Exhale, fan and lift the right toes, the front leg toes all the way up, but press down with the big toe ball mound of your foot. And I may sort of Shine a new awareness into the front of the ankle, front of the shin. Just tune in there. And tuning into any other sensations. To come out. Simply step your foot back now to hands and knees and make your way down to a seat. Laying all the way down onto your back. You begin cooling down at this point. So lay down on the back. Hugging both knees toward your chest if that feels good. Have happy baby. Place your right foot on the floor and then bring your left knee as far out to the left as it wants to go. Holding on to back of the thigh, lift your foot up toward the ceiling. You could stay here holding the uh, back of the thigh, you can hold back of the calf. If your limb length will accommodate it, you're welcome to hold your foot. Now, right leg can stay bent. You can kind of let it fall out to the side, or you can straighten your leg. Now, as you inhale, press with both feet. As you exhale, settle the back of your pelvis down toward the earth. Keep an enlivened energy in your legs. Keep brightening up with your breath.
You can keep working here, or we'll take this to reclined pigeon. Fold your left shin across your chest, and you can hold on just with the one hand. You can hold uh, knee with one hand, foot with one hand, and the angle of the leg is entirely up to you. The leg might be further away from the chest, or you're welcome to pull it in as closely as you'd like to. Now, if the shape is a little bit too much for your body today, instead take like uh, a knee bent version of that. So bend the right leg, place ankle over thigh, and you can hang out here or bring legs a little closer. And I like to give these options because different shapes make different people feel bright. So what feels best for you might not be best for uh, the next person. And, a third person would take an even different choice. So choose the one that feels bright and shiny to you. It feels like a treasure. And let go. Change sides. Start with both knees bent. Bring right knee up toward your chest and then send it as far out to the right as it wants to go. Right foot reaches up and hold on anywhere on the back of the leg or foot. Left leg can be bent or straightened out into your half happy baby. As you inhale, activate your feet and feel that activation running all the way up your legs toward your hips. As you exhale, relax in your hips. feeling for the perfect balance, just enough effort to stay aware, just enough ease to settle the energy back down toward a simmer. At this point, we've stoked the inner fire and brightened up on the inside enough that we've built a nice big bed of uh, Simmering coals, right? And even though that energy isn't quite as fierce, that fire, that energy potential is still there. So use your breath to move that energy. You're welcome to stay here or fold your shin across into reclined pigeon. Find the angle of your leg, positioning of the body that allows you to get into the right hip, allows you to get into your breath. Because ultimately it's, it's not about the shapes, is it? <laughs> it's about the breath and the awareness and opening up a communication with the deeper versions of ourselves with our spirit. Knees out. Find your way to a resting place for Shavasana. So you can choose to lie on your back, Keep it on your side, lie in your belly. Again, it's not about the shape. It's about creating an environment where you can rest, relax, and receive all the work you've done. So let go of the breath. Let your body rest more and more heavily for the next moment or so.
you'd like to take a longer rest, you're absolutely welcome to stay. If you're ready to move, deepen your breath. Invite whatever movements feel best. And whenever the time is right for you, make your way back up to sitting. Once you make it the spine upright, bring hands together at your heart. Just give the last moment of gratitude to this time and space we get to share virtually. <laughs> Even though we're not together, we can still share energy together. I see you even when I cannot see your face. I very deeply appreciate each of you that joined the practice today. Thank you so much for being here.